Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Bios the Game. I'm Skyquick your host as always and today we're going to be delving away from the realm of Wargame Red Dragon and into a new game that just recently released, Pal World. Now I am completely novice to what this game is but I've heard very good things so far. It is an early access so it's kind of like a... Um, uh, I don't know how to, to say but basically like an animal catcher... Uh, open world style game, building buildings, crafting resources, and just a whole lot of fun. So this is going to be a blind first time playthrough for me. So I'm not going to be playing it with any kind of foreknowledge of hundreds of hours behind this game. This is going to be my pure reaction from the start, from the get go in this. Um, I will probably, if you guys like it and uh, the, there's enough um, interest in it i will be doing a multiplayer uh, with a bunch of my friends as well and uh, we'll see how that goes but i'm literally just gonna go in blind for this single player playthrough and see how it goes so as you see in the bottom left um pal world is currently in early access and uh you may kind of bugs or crashes so if we do it's not the end of the world it is still in early access but so far it's like one of uh, the most played games in the last couple of weeks so I mean with that reputation we just gotta try it out so let's go start game so as I said I've basically just seen like a couple of um, YouTube short videos on it um, that popped up on my um, recommendations lists and uh, a couple of friends suggested we should do it so I'm gonna go for it so world name we're just gonna call it BHG world because why not? You know, we need to represent uh, Biohazard Games in some way here. So we're just going to make it a single player match. Uh, let's keep it on normal. I don't like to be easy for most of the time. You need to have some sort of difficulty. So for survival game regulars, we want to take on the challenge of survival on Palpagos Island. Stand game balance upon if all equipment and material items are dropped on the spot. I can live with that. Cool. And I guess that is it. Not a lot to um, unpack there. I'm really excited. This is my first time playing a new game in, in a bit. So, especially one that I'm going in blind. I haven't really had a lot of time to um, do some research on it. Alright, cool. You can edit your character again after the game has started. A character re edit features plan for future update. Okay, excellent. So, hmm. I think we'll go body first. So, okay, I'm guessing yeah, that's. <laughs> Male, female, gotcha. Um, can I go blue as a color? Apparently not. Oh, no, wait, here we go. Get some avatar looking stuff in there because I like blue. Blue is my favorite color, so might as well represent. There we go. I like that. Yeah, that can work. Let's go over face. Torso size. I mean, this torso size is fair enough. I don't. <laughs> Let's just see what would <laughs> Whoa. Okay, yeah, that, that's just strange on many different levels. Arm size. I think a, a good split down 50 50 in the middle is good. Don't want to be. We might actually go for a bit thinner legs. I feel like that will look a little bit more accurate to the body type. There we go. Face. Yeah, that can work. I like that. Uh, the eyes are perfect, actually. Quite like that. I might go blue eyes as well. Oh, that blue purplish. That's perfect. I like that. All right, excellent. And eyebrow color. I'm not digging the orange. Let's go with brown. Yes, I'm a I'm a basic person. I like my brown. And then hairstyle. Get some sort of like cool animated style here that's not too out there. Mm. You know what? I quite like this one actually. Here's a little bit of a spikiness to it. Can you rotate the cam camera zoom character rotation? Ah, left mouse button hold in. I actually quite like that. That looks cool. Let's go with uh, a nice brown color there. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. Voice. Yeah, that could work. I like it. I think that's it. I quite like these character creation things. It's very simple, very quick. Um, okay, that's fine. This is going to be a, a trial run to 
not tutorial, but just a, a trial run game play uh, walkthrough for myself. And uh, you guys to join it along with me. Oh, okay, interesting. So it seems we are on an island with a tablet of some sort. The towers are the key. The tree holds the truth. And fade to blackness. Okay. Quite like the animation style so far. Okay, let's have a look here. Pick up fallen branches or hit trees to get some wood. Open the options menu of escape. Check the survival guide and open the build menu of select primitive wood branch. Hmm, okay, that's simple enough. Uh, how do I pick up the fallen branches though? I'm assuming those aren't the uh, fallen branches that it is speaking of. Um, maybe these guys? These look like fallen branches. Yes. Nope. Alright, let's press escape then. And uh, let's go to survival guide because I have no idea what the controls are for this. So let's pick up. Throw pal, throw sphere, build menu, B, press roll. Not gonna be doing controllers, so what should I do first? Here we go. First, pick up fallen brands, build to get a wooden stone. You can also collect wooden stone by punching big trees and rocks with your bare hands. Okay, that sounds simple enough. Open the technology screen. Technology. I like technology. Okay, so we can get print of work, but we need wood. Stone axe, stone pickaxe, handheld torch, and wooden club. Okay, seems simple enough. Need to unlock the pal sphere. Mm. Ah, okay, so you need to get to level 2 first. Two things first. Okay. Sounds interesting enough. Let's. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything here, I'm not picking something up. I'm one of those guys that uh, like making sure I pick everything up and get everything. So, primitive workbench, we need to be B. So, I don't think we're gonna find anything here really, so I guess the only way for um, way is forward. Ooh, there's a fireplace over there. Oh, it's F. Okay, that that's a bit counterintuitive. I'm so used to games being E. So we got two. We got two. Yeah, we can talk to this expedition survivor, but I think we'll hold off on that. We'll get some more resources first. Ooh, there's a little pal over there. All right, so I feel we've got enough for a primitive work going, So let's get that going. I have to hold build. Oh, that's nice. I uh, actually <laughs> had to uh, uh, pause for a moment and then uh, I forgot that I pressed the wrong button to unpause. So um, I just basically went around, got some more sticks and um, made myself a wooden club apparently. So yay, I got a wooden club. Uh, I also went and made myself a pal sphere uh, because apparently I got a palladium fragment somehow. And yeah, I guess we're gonna go and try and attack a pal and uh, oh, we actually need to craft a, a pal sphere first. So let's do that. Oh, okay, I understand. So the, the shiny rocks that I saw earlier when I was collecting some stuff, that must be for the palladium fragments. I am starting to get the hang of it, starting to get there, as with any of these survival games. It takes a moment to just kind of get the idea of what you really want to do. What? Huh? I do want to get some more stone though. Ah, speaking of which, there is stone. And there's a paladin dragon. Perfect. Ooh, berries. I can actually eat stuff. Okay, let's go to our inventory. And 
Hmm, how do I eat this? Take. Do I put it at the head? <laughs> how does this work? Ah, okay, gotcha. Alright, that makes sense. Alright, so at least my food level's back up. I'm uh, not hungry anymore. I upgraded my stamina as well with one point, so that makes it a little bit easier for me to go further distances. I n what do you mean I need a pallium frag? I thought I picked one up. What was that then? Oh, I actually have a pal sphere. Okay. We're just gonna keep that in. All right, let's go and attack a pal and uh, see if we can't get our first pal going. I'm gonna go for the sheep. It's the level one, so uh, easiest, just to kind of like get an idea what to do. Oh, it's actually level three. Oops. I think that's it. Ah. Is, is it dead now? Did I get it? <laughs> How's this working? Oh, yeah, it, it's dead. Whoops. Sorry about that. I had to take a quick call. Uh, so, yeah, I, I killed the first sheep thingy, but um, I don't have a pal sphere, and I thought I did pick one up, but apparently I didn't. Or did I throw it too soon, maybe? Hmm. Of course, I'm investigating, I think. Alright, well, let's head back. I think I should go and make myself a pickaxe then, and see if I can go and mine that stuff over there. I think once I've done created uh, the pickaxe, I should maybe talk to this traveler and see how that goes. I think let's make one of these. Excellent, alright. I think let's also... Ah, I can't actually make that. Let's make a torch, because uh, I don't know how day and night and everything like that works in this game, so don't want to be walking in the dark, so let's have at least one handheld torch going. Okay, so I'm assuming I have to... Okay, gotcha. Let's go and talk to this traveler quick here. Been a while since, since someone who didn't stink of pals washed up here. This island is a living hell. The people I came with aren't with us any longer. Those damned pals ate every one of them. You be careful out there. Here, take some basic supplies. You need to toughen up if you want to survive out there. Oh, I should have talked to you way sooner than <laughs> Thanks for the word. Alright, excellent. Uh, there's a pal. So yeah, let's go quickly mine some stuff and uh, see what we can do with it. Let's go down here. Because yeah, I've, I saw these rocks earlier and I'm guessing that's the sphere thing that I need. <coughs> I have a bunch of palladium fragments. So I'm guessing we should make a couple of uh, pal spheres just to make sure. And you know what? Let's go and grab some uh, more rock. I'm guessing this is rock. Oh, this is ore actually. Interesting. Alright, well, not get too much of that for now. Let's head up. Can I actually climb this? Oh, I can actually. This is so cool. Alright, we are running out of stamina. Okay. Apparently, if you don't have stamina, you can't climb walls. Good to know. Let's make it a little bit easier at least. Okay. Create a couple of pal spheres. I make two of them, so let's go for it. I 
Excellent, alright. Now, attack piles to weaken them, then press Q to improve piles here and capture them. Okay. Let's uh, swap out stuff then. That's a torch, don't want that. Okay. Let's go for kitty cat. I like kitty cats. Kativa, Kativa, come here. Mm. Oi. Oops. And I was a bit vigorous there. That's uh, not what I want to do. Where are you? <laughs> Does that work? No. I don't quite understand like the mechanic of it, because I'm trying to not kill them, but at the same time that last finishing strike keeps happening. So let's see if we can like find one more pal over here. Seem like it. All right, let's head back up. All right, so quick cut, and we're back here. So let's try the chicken, I guess. <laughs> hey, there we go. Gotcha. I got cheeky p. Hey, and we got achievement. Beginning of the legend. Cat caught first spell. Oh. Oh wait. Do I still have no I don't have a well we'll just have to Alright, he's been subdued, excellent. Okay, so I can proceed to yeah. summon Hey, there's my little cheeky. Awesome <laughs> Okay, he just decided to cast Yeet. Alright, so we've got our first pal, that's awesome actually. Um let's quickly see if we can like feed him or something. Um Inventory, uh, berry seeds, I guess. Can I feed him? <laughs> I imagine I can feed a chicken chicken. You can, actually. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's actually really, really funny. Alright, let's eat our steak before it gets rotten. Alright, the chicken is full food. Come on, little chicky. It's time to go walking. So we need to open the technology screen for the menu and unlock the PAL box. So let's go quickly. Go do that. The PAL box. So we got that. Build the PAL box in an open space. The surrounding area will become your base. Access the PAL box and summon a PAL to your base. Use tab to open your inventory and press to consume food and stay off hunger. Ah, oh, okay, so that's the shortcut. Okay, okay cool. Well, I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to quickly switch over to my... <laughs> Love this little chicken. I'm going to quickly see if I can like make some more stuff. And then I'm going to cut, uh, make a quick cut in here, and then I'm going to go and look for myself for a nice little um, place that I can start my base. But I see I should have unlocked this first. There we go, one technology point. Alright. Let's quickly go. Inventory. Eh, no, not technology. So we have the PAL box. How many points do we still have here? Does it say. Oh, we have 11 technology points. Let's just get all of the second level things because that just makes sense. And the structure set. Yes, excellent. Ooh, you can make bows. I'm an old bow with arrows. And I have six points left. Shoddy bed, human beds, sleeping resource hell, sleep at night and time will pass until morning, cannot sleep unless built under a roof. Ooh, okay. Straw pal bed. Pals at base recover sand when sleeping in beds at night. Without a bed, pals cannot sleep soundly and no sand is recovered. Repair kit and cloth. Alright, well I do actually have some wool from that um, sheep pal that I killed earlier. So, alright, let's quickly craft some stuff. And I can't actually, I don't have enough stone. Alright, well we're just gonna then march into the wilderness and 
with our armed with our trusty torch. I'm gonna go and see if I can find like a nice little spot that I can uh, set up camp. But uh, you guys probably don't want to see me wandering for hours on end walking, so I will cut back when I found something. All right, and we are back. So I decided to make this little space here. Let me check on the map. My first base. I don't know if I will stick with it for the entirety of the game, but I think it's a good place. It's got a solid. Um, we got a small power sword over here. Nice. Um, we've got a nice little rock face over here that protects a little bit so we can have a better view of what's going to be attacking us from front without worrying what's coming from behind. And uh, we've got some resources over here. We've got some wood, we've got some stone, some more stone, that stuff over there. I am seeing these weird purple sheep things, floating things, which is interesting, but uh, we will not be attacking them now. I think we'll be taking care of that later on. But first things first, we will do build a pal box. Uh, right, I need to unlock that. But I did unlock it, didn't I? Technology. Facility for storing captured pals. Pals inside gradually recover health. Okay. I believe I did research this. Why is it not working? That is the question. Or am I missing something? Access the power box and summon a pal to your base. Where am I inventory? I'm not quite sure. Is it because I need to... Ah, uh, okay, hold on. Let's see. Yes, there we go. I guess we need to go to pal, pal box. Excellent. So... I have heard a good way to build a pal box is like in the middle of your place and not like at the edge. Um, so I think let's uh, build one right here. Get to crafting. Nice. All right. Exit pal. Sell some. Uh, ba Summon a pal to your base. <laughs> there we go. I'm guessing pal box management menu. And there we go. Awesome. And now we can fast travel from here to that point. Okay, that's really really interesting actually. Base upgrade. Deploy work pal to the base. Okay, I guess we'll get to that soon enough. And summon a pal. So we need to summon. One. There we go. So now we've got this uh, pal. He's going to be working around the base, apparently, and doing stuff. So we need to capture five land balls and earn an experience bonus. You just level up, so open your inventory tab, open your stats. We've got two points now. I think weight might not be a bad idea, and I think attack as well. So let's uh, boost those up. Because we want to be able to carry a little bit more than we currently do. Uh, we do need to eat as well, so let's just feed ourselves. There we go. So what's a small pal soul? A spirit left behind by a small pal. It can draw out hidden abilities if offered to a statue of power. Interesting. We'll definitely have a look at that. So we need to capture five land balls and earn an experience bonus. I need to increase my play level by capturing 30 pals and build up my base until it reaches level 7. Alrighty then. Uh, not what I want to do. So I'm going to go to B and... I'm actually... A campfire might not be a bad idea, but it's a lot of wood that we need to use right now, so... I think first things first, let's focus on the bare necessities and uh, get some resources going. So, I did build an axe, I believe. Did I not? Or did I not take it? I think I didn't take it from the previous one. Alright. Let's quickly make a new one then. No harm, no foul. There we go. Okay, so we've got a stone axe now. So let's get some wood going. It's daytime again. So, chop down some trees. Oh. Ooh, I can actually command a pal now. Can I tell him to do stuff? Feed, pet, emotes, handover. Okay, I don't think I can make this particular pal do anything. Oh, we're getting some fibers now from trees when cutting it down. So that's cool. That's a good chunk of wood we got there. 
That's a more wood goon. The big thing is, is I see that our um, capacity that we're carrying is getting very high very quickly, but if we can get enough wood and stuff that we can build like a storage chest and uh, you know get the basics needed for a small base going. Let's get some stone. Got a nice palladium fragment there with that one as well. Okay, nice. We got 19 stone. I believe that should be sufficient to. Oop, we got the first attack, I think. So let's swap. Are you friend or are you foe? Oh well. Oh, it is. <laughs> Oop, what's that? Nope, don't want that. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Yes, come, my little chicken. Whoop. Ow. Attack. Yes, I now need to capture these, but I don't have the other pal stuff at the moment, and uh, I'd rather just kill these and get some XP. That's level 6 here. My chicken is uh, being ferocious right now, actually. I'm quite impressed. I think I just hit my own chicken, though. Whoops. Sorry. Ah, surprise! Mm. Okay, the chicken just KO'd it. Alright, that's good to see. Alright, chicken is guarding the base. Because I'm not gonna get anything out of it, so... Chicken, come back! Don't, don't attack! Ah, this chicken is... Freaking crazy, man. Alright. Storage. Actually, let's get a foundation going. Uh, I think we'll get these guys. And yeah, just at least get a base going. Can I, like, pull shift in and keep building? No. Apparently not. I think that should be sufficient. Let's go with B. We need to have some nice wall windows with walls, you know. It's it's it'll be nice. So I get one of those. Actually, I'm gonna need more foundation because I want to get a door in the middle. Just <laughs> build it over that. So wooden door. There we go. Wall and window. Just feel like the wall and window. Combo is a good one, especially in the early game, because then you can like actually ah build continuously. See if I read the instructions, I might actually learn something. This way, I can at least see around me, making sure there isn't any bad guys lurking around. I like it. Okay. So we need we don't need stairs right now. I think we we'll just just go for wooden slanted roof. Uh, no, um, that I rotated. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's actually do build the stairs because uh, I can't actually do it like that. Open the door. Can I build it from outside? A bit better than inside the door. I think let's uh, climb a wall quickly, so we can like get a topside view of it. I feel like that's a, a decent enough little house that we've got going on, just to kind of stave off the cold and hyperthermia and such. Hey, right, come on. Or do we need to build a roof first so we can have... Uh, okay, I gotcha. So we need to do it like that, and then we can build it like this. Maybe? Ugh. Why is this not working? 
just want to build a roof. <laughs> oh, I can actually climb it like that. Nope, nope, not what I want to do. Right, let's just build normal wooden roof. I'll uh, play with that a little bit off camera and uh, make sure that uh, I get that squared away. There we go, wooden roof. Let's try this one last time then, I guess. Was weird. <laughs> All right. Anyways, so yeah, we've got our first little house going. Quite like it. Um, nothing in it yet, but uh, that'll be something for next time to do. So I'm gonna end this video right here. I think uh, we're almost at f just over 30 minutes. I think we accomplished a lot. I actually learned how to play the game. We've got a little base going on. We've got a lot of pals that we can start uh, doing stuff with as soon as uh, I get all of the basic stuff in here. And uh, I'm going to do some work off camera, just making the house a little bit prettier, get some storage chests in here, and then and gather some resources. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you like this video and uh, this series so far, please uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe down below. It really, really helps out a lot. And uh, we're on the road to 100 subscribers, and from there on, who knows where it will take us. But uh, your support really means the world to us, so thank you guys so much. I also have a Patreon if you want to go and check out uh, some of my other content on there. But for today, that is all. Have a great day. See you later.